Hello, this is O Levels Accounting by SNP Finance and I'm Usman. In this lesson, we are going to see what exactly is profit or loss and what is an accounting period. So most of us have a basic idea of what profit is. Profit is simply a difference between our income and expenses. Whatever our income is, we will subtract whatever our expenses are to earn that income and we will be left with the profit that we have earned and profit is usually calculated for a particular period we will see it in detail later on and profit or loss is stated in what we call an income statement we briefly saw what an income statement is in the previous video so to understand let's continue with our example of a pizza restaurant say the income we have earned from a pizza restaurant is 1000. Our customers have paid us 1000 for pizzas. Now let's see what will be our expenses here. We, we probably have used flour to make the pizza dough. We have used chicken for topping. We have used cheese, vegetables, both for topping. We have served the pizza in a pizza box. So we have used a pizza box too. We have, may have used oil to cook the pizza. We have used electricity definitely in our restaurant. And if our stove that we are using is gas fired, we probably would have used some gas too. So all in all, our expenses turn out to be 800. That leaves us with a profit of 200. Now let us imagine that expenses instead of being 800 are 1200. In this case, we are left with nothing. In fact, we have incurred a loss of 200. So in the case where expenses exceeded our income, we are left with a loss instead of a profit. We just saw what profit is. Now, what is this period we are talking about? You see, profit is usually measured for a particular period of time. So, for example, how much profit did I earn today? How much did I earn last month? How much profit did I earn last year? In the language of accounting, whatever period we use for calculating our profit or loss is known as the accounting period. Most businesses prepare income statement to show profit for an entire year. However, this year does not always mean January to December. January to December is basically our calendar year. But an accounting year could be any period of 12 months. Some businesses measure profit or loss from January to December. Some measure it from April to March, some from July to June, and some from October to September. You may use any other period of 12 months too, but these are the four that are usually followed. So you may have a question here that why doesn't everyone simply follow an accounting year from January to December? Why overly complicate things? So it is sometimes industry practice. For example, in some countries, automobile industry follows an accounting year from April to March. Sometimes it is a requirement of uh, the law. For example, central banks usually require banks to follow an accounting year from January to December. Sometimes people want to synchronize their tax year with accounting year and tax year usually follows from July to June, you know, so that when you're calculating profit for accounting from July to December, you can use that same profit to calculate your tax too. So to sum it up, profit or loss is the difference between income and expenses. Profit is measured for a period. The period for which we measure profit is called an accounting period. And a 12 month accounting period is called an accounting year. And an accounting year may be any period of 12 months, not necessarily January to December. That was all. Thank you for watching. This was Snip Finance. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, please like our Facebook and LinkedIn pages too, the links to which are in the description below. Thank you.